Welcome back. It's been a while since I put up a video, kind of a dry spell in cards, but I got this in the mail today and some of you guys might ask, what the heck is this? And that's a good question. It is what is called the Yak Pack. And this came out in 2003 or so because, and the only reason I know that, is because one of the grand prizes that you can get and all the information's there is a... Uh, trip to the 2004 World Series. How awesome would it be to win that prize? I think it'd be funny to get a big prize even though it's um, definitely going to be expired. Is a This was a company that's traded uh, on the New York Stock Exchange at one point and it's distributed by Tiburon Marketing. Well, it's repackaged stuff so I have actually seen this opened and People that just buy up old cards actually put them in their own packages, the Yak Pack Pack. And uh, that's why I'm guessing there will be nothing good in here, but it will be fun to open. And Raleigh Fingers is kind of the cover boy here. Uh, you can win a bunch of Raleigh Fingers stuff. It is really, really bad out right now. Didn't have school today. And I braved the storm, drove all the way into town. It's 25 miles, drove all the way to Wapton which is an hour, and then back in the town. So I saw a bunch of semis in the ditch and cars in the ditch, but I was able to weather the storm, so to speak. I picked up not much from Walmart. I picked up the Gems of the, Gems of the Game box. I'll probably open that tomorrow. I have no idea why I uh, would buy that, but it's uh, needed something. Pre I'm about to pre-order a uh, 2020 Series 1 hobby box. So I got uh, 24 packs. There's only seven cards per pack, but I love setting up the little box. Uh, actually saving a lot of these boxes. I don't know where I'm gonna put them or what I'm gonna do with them, but here is my pack of a Yak Pack. Man, the Astro stuff just gets better and better every day. Really looking forward to seeing what the whole uh, thing is with the, you know, if Altuve was wearing a wire. So there's going to be all kinds of different cards in here. Um, obviously, not anything very new because it came out in 2004. But here we go. Oral Hershiser. This is Upper Deck Collector's Choice. I don't know, mid-90s. Uh, 82 Donners, Rick Peters. Here's a, uh, this is one of my favorite. I bought a box of these and opened this. Clear Platinum, Mike Hampton. OPG, Juan Gonzalez. Here's a bunch of uh, information. 2004 prizes to win. <coughs> Excuse me. I have no idea what this Yak company is. And I don't think they're obviously around. Uh, Rocky Colavito. This is an old Starliner. No idea what that is. 85 tops. Look at the centering on that card. And so, I don't, like I said, expect to find anything good. But it'll be some fun people to come across. More old 85 tops. Ed Ramiro. Don't know him. McElroy. Barry Foot. Steve Yeager. Larry Henderson. Pat Tabler. Mike Witt. Mike Witt threw a perfect game. Um, I don't remember exactly. It was the last day of the season. And it was uh, mid-80s. I don't know exactly what day it was. Or what year it was. The wind is really howling outside. I'm surprised how many early 80s cards there are here. Rick Leach. Score Greg Maddox. That's a funny looking card. That's kind of like when Panini Chronicles came out with the score uh, big headed series this year. The, the All Stars. I mean, I've never even heard of this guy. And Mike. So a lot of uh, wax junk, late 80s, early 90s. Jesse Barfield was good for quite a while. That's 85 tops. A ton of 85 tops thus far. Steve Trout. And one of the newer cards you see in here, Donruss Elite. Tom Glavin. Yeah, there's a... Uh, not much to that I really want to buy. Here's some. We're getting to the uh, the uh, duplicates here. We got a Darren Dalton, one of those big head cards. This guy. It's 
So we've got though we have like three duplicates already. I'm trying to hoard some packs, so I might hold a pack of these back. Um, last day of school, I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna do some kind of uh, some kind of opening of packs. I don't know if the, some of the kids will want to get involved, and I'll try to get them involved if they want to. So I'm hoarding packs. Here's a father son card, Yogi Berra, Dale Berra. Or 82 Donruss. And I think I've got that card about a million times. There is a lot of old 80s cards, which is, is nice. Tug McGraw is the father of the singer. And he won a World Series at the Phillies. Had a pretty good career as a relief pitcher. Played for a long time. What the heck is his name? His son's name? Can't think of even what's his first name, the singer. I hate country music. It's crappy. Darren Erstad. He's real young here. This might be, uh, yeah, this is after his first year. And partial year. Erstad. Grew up not too far from here. In Jamestown, North Dakota. Oh, yes. These are repeats. I actually came across another Greg Maddox score all-star. I actually came across some binders at our local pawn shop in a thrift store in a, another close town that had a lot of late 70s, early 80s. Well, there's a Greg Maddox Donruss 90 with the Cubs. So we got a couple of Maddoxes here. Not worth anything. Those Donruss 90 and 91 sets are pretty much worthless. But I found some interesting binders with a lot of late 70s tops or ladies tops and then some fleer but uh i, I kind of paged through them and no real rookie cards i think the best rookie card i see was a, a willie mcgee one but i might go back and look at those and see if there's anything there i need or i want they're cheap and probably uh it's a terrible looking card this looks like a prison photo See if I can get those uh, binders and check those out at some point. Always looking for baseball cards everywhere I go, but it's hard to find them. Rick Mahler. Look at that. They just right back to back. This is 83 Fleer. Yeah, I'm probably not going to hold any of these back for that last day of school opening. It's not really... I mean, I guess there's... 10,000 randomly inserted cards, but I wonder how many uh, of these Yak Packs they actually made. I don't ever remember seeing these, and, like, so you got that same... You get so many duplicates here. I don't ever really remember seeing these when I was growing up. Darren Dalton, another one of those score all-stars. Chad Curtis, Angels outfielder. He played for the Yankees for a while in the late 90s when they were winning titles. And in 2003, 2004, I was buying a ton of cards. Every time I went to Walmart with my family, I'd be just looking at uh, stuff in the aisles. So it's surprising to me that I never remember these. But they might have not have been at Walmart. So. 400th Larry Herndon. With Leach. And this was cheap, so I, I don't... Uh, it's not like I'm mad about buying this. This was super cheap on ebay i'm sure you can find one and with shipping and everything you can get it for probably 15 to 20 bucks jerry kuzman i believe jerry kuzman was on the uh same rookie card as nolan ryan probably what he's most famous for but geez he pitched uh, a ton of years won 200 games over 200 games also lost over 200 on um, his stats there were 216 and 205 and look there's another one be interesting to see you know if there's ever another 300 game winner pitchers obviously don't pitch uh, deep into games like they used to and get uh, as many decisions and they only pitch maybe 33 to 30 you know 32 33 games if they're healthy so those are numbers that are going to be hard to break 300 uh win total 500 home runs seems like 
it was a big deal when I was younger, but it's really not anymore. I saw how many people joined that 500 club while I was really young in the steroid era. Next week is the Hall of Fame voting. Derek Jeter will get in. Bonds and Clemens, who are basically the two steroid guys, probably will not get in. If they do, it probably won't be till their last year, which I think is uh, maybe, I think they have two more years on the ballot. This is disappointing, and just the fact that it's all duplicates. I've gotten every single one of these Donruss 82 cards. So I always wonder how when people repackage things, they just don't really give a shit about the customer. They just pack that shit up and send it out, and you get a thousand of the same cards. And, uh, you know, what can you really do about it? You could play drinking games, and every time you get a Larry Herndon, you could uh, you could get drunk playing that, opening one of these. I only have about five or six more packs, which is good. Because this, although it's fun to open, it's just getting uh, repetitive with the same players. I mean, I just had, I have must have five of those. Bobby Brown. I already have this Chad Curtis... I think there was only one card thus far from the 2000s. That was that Mike Hampton uh, Fleer Platinum from 2002. Rick Mahler, I have, I mean, this is awful. Jaron Aaron, it's a new one. Tug McGraw, got him again. This is the, uh, at least the third Darren Dalton I remember. You know, sometimes I buy things like this and I don't really know why. But, uh, you know, the exact same pack. Who has this many, uh, you know, of the same cards laying around? And, but I buy these things, and I just want to see them and open them on camera, and I know I'm not going to get anything good. Just like with the, uh, with the gems of the game, you generally don't get anything worth a damn, but it's fun to... Uh, to see what you get, maybe get lucky. With those, at least it's newer, so I might get some 2018 Series 2. Here's a new one, John Smoltz, Donner Elite. What year is this? This is from 90, 97, okay. Jesus. Enough Greg Maddox junk cards. This is my last pack, mercifully. I'll never buy this again, and I suggest you don't. So, when I title a video like this, you know, what do you title it? Come see how awful these yak packs are. Uh, that's probably what I'll put, something along those lines. They suck. Let me get this last pack open. Luckily, I got some Topps Heritage. And actually, I think because this was so terrible, I might just go grab that. This is Ron Darling, Craig Harris, Shane Mack. Here's Rick Sutcliffe back when he was with the uh, Indians. This is 83 tops. Of course, had a good career in the 80s with the Cubs. I think he won the Cy Young in maybe 84 after he was traded. David Wells threw a perfect game, but Rick Sutcliffe is one of my least favorite announcers. He's terribly annoying. I'm going to run over to the living room for a second and get my hanger box of High Heritage. I had not planned to open this, but because the act packs were so awful, I figured what the hell, I'll just open this uh, High Heritage pack because then at least you might see a decent card if we get lucky. So High Heritage is Basically like Series 2 for the Heritage. And, you know, this is still full price. Tops uh, Heritage from last year, the original, sold miserably. It's on sale at uh, every place you go. But let's look through these and uh, maybe we'll get something worth a, a darn. Have to check all these to see if they are short prints. And... I actually opened up just a clearance pack earlier today and got a Severino short print. It's uh, not anything too 
exciting. Jeff Samarja. I remember watching him play football the Brady Quinn days at uh, at Notre Dame. Probably made the right decision. He made more money playing uh, baseball than he ever would football. Griffith Caning, rookie. And Trevor Richards, Caleb Smith, Domingo Santana. Here's the cloth card. You can kind of, I think you can see on camera how it's, uh, it's like a cloth sticker, I guess. I think it's a sticker. And this is Victor Robles. Hunter Strickland. I didn't even know that he was with the uh, Mariners. J.D. Martinez, award winner, Hank Aaron Award. This is Joe Kelly. Joe Kelly is an interesting dude. Manny Machado, Dwight Smith Jr., Zach Britton, Ryan McMahon. Boy, this isn't uh, yielding too many results either. Derek Collin, this is a this is some goofy sketch. That doesn't look like a real picture. That cannot be a real picture of Derek Holland. Maybe it is. This it, it looks like a cartoon. That's Monty Grandal, who is now a white sock. Cuche and Adam Frazier. So there is nothing on the bone on any of these things that I opened up tonight. But that's okay. Um, it was fun to open them. I still got to look through to see if there's any short prints here. Tomorrow I'm going to open up a Gems of the Game. And hopefully you guys can come back and watch that. Like, comment, subscribe, and hopefully I see you tomorrow.